in the 21st century, being not just bilingual, but multilingual is an essential core skill for every student that wants to be a real player in the world. We have such demands from every sector of our society, from the business community and the work that is done in a, a global economy, uh, from the government sector and the concerns that there are about national security and all of that, from even the, the scientific community and the work that's being done in research across uh, culture and language, that in every sector we see just an increasing demand. And the truth is that people around the world are creating children who have high level native speaker-like um, capacity to function in more than one or two languages. And when that's the case, then the prospects for children who are monolingual aren't very good. There's the old adage that if you want to buy, you can do it in any language. But if you want to sell, you need to speak the language of the, of the person who's buying. And so more and more, we're in a situation where we're selling, where we're trying to convince others to buy. And if you're selling to me and you don't speak my language, there are going to be things that you can't do to convince me that someone else who does speak my language can do. And the first of those is establish a powerful relationship with me. Our perspective in the United States on what the key languages are is different from the perspective of people in other parts of the world. There are people in China learning Spanish, for example, because they see that as a viable resource to help them in doing the sorts of things that they want to do. So it really depends on your perspective, but there's never a disadvantage to learning another language. There's never a situation where knowing more than one language um, is a disadvantage to you. It's always an advantage.